Annie is moments away from giving birth, but I wanna show you how we get our moms ready, the x-ray, the grooming, all of it. So I'm gonna take you through the whole labor and all the cute puppies at the end. Annie's family met us at the vet for her puppy count x-ray. I am taking her to get an x-ray one week before her due date to see how many puppies she is having. The vet told us she's expecting six little babies. They count the spines and heads to give me the estimate. I know it's not always 100% accurate, but it gives me peace of mind knowing how many to look out for. Her family was so excited and telling us that Annie has been a little more clingy and not eating as much. All those signs are traditional with the ending of pregnancy. I mean, they go through hormones just like we do as moms. Now that Annie's home, we're looking for signs of nesting, whether that's digging or hiding. So far, the only thing I've seen her do is holding a toy in her mouth and doing some shredding to find a squeaker. But I'm looking for any sign that tells me that labor is close. You spoke my name and life began Breath filled dust and sand Felt you in the cool of the night I noticed that she had pushed out a small part of the sack and it was intact, but it was just sitting there while she rested. When I went to examine the sack again, I noticed it had grown some and I didn't want it to rupture with the puppy still in the birth canal. If that happens, it could lead to an infection or an unstable puppy. So I took my hands on the outside of her vagina and gently pulled it back and the puppy's head was right there. When Annie felt that, she pushed and I helped guide it out. Annie immediately started tending to it and opened the sack herself. It's a healthy boy. I know he's still wet, but I can tell that he is going to be this beautiful apricot color and looks like a wavy coat. Puppy number two came so fast after the first one, literally three minutes. Annie did a great job removing the placenta and cutting the umbilical cord quickly. I was able to see that he was a boy also. They are pretty much twins. They look identical to each other. It will be fun to see if they stay that way when they grow up. Puppy number three came and we have our first girl. She looks identical to the two brothers that were born first. All three of them have a wavy coat and that apricot color. They look just like Annie. Everyone is a really good size. Not too large to block the birth canal, but large enough to feel healthy and sturdy. I bred Annie with a male that was a similar size so it's easier for her to birth the puppies. Mosley was the stud of this litter and he's actually a couple pounds smaller than her. I have had really good success with births and decreasing the chances of stillborns or difficult labors using this method. We just had puppy number four and it's another girl. So now we have two boys and two girls and we're waiting on those last two to come out. But I think this part of it is the most fascinating piece to me because when they come out, number one, it's a huge surprise what we're getting, a boy or a girl. Their color, their coat, all of it. But what's miraculous is they can't hear or see. So they are solely dependent on mom. And it is amazing to watch them almost kind of like, army crawl just right to her and right to that nipple to start nursing. It is definitely a creation thing and I think 
that it's probably my favorite part of the whole process is just seeing how quickly they bond with their mom and how they just go over to it. Puppy number five came an hour after the first ones had arrived and she is special because she is a cream colored puppy. I've said it before, it's my favorite part to see what comes from the pairings we put together. I usually don't get cream colored puppies, but it's unique and fun to get something different. She's slightly smaller, but nothing to be worried about. She is already nursing. It's been three hours and number six still isn't here yet. I'm starting to wonder whether we're gonna have to make a trip to the vet. I have re-looked at the x-ray a couple of times now and you can clearly see six heads and six spines. Puppy number six is finally here. She is a chunky girl puppy and was definitely worth the wait. A reproductive vet has always told me four hours is okay in between puppies as long as mom is resting comfortably. But when we were getting closer to the cutoff, some negative thoughts started creeping in. I checked and rechecked the time probably at least four times and had already started making a plan on taking her in for a follow-up x-ray. But then Annie started pushing again and puppy number six made her debut. I was so thankful. She immediately started moving around and making noises when I cleaned her off. So in total, we have six healthy puppies, four girls and two boys. I couldn't be more happy and relieved with Annie's delivery, especially since it was her first time. She acted like she had done this a million times. I didn't have to get her attention to lick and clean the puppies or break the umbilical cord and she's so calm. We've had other moms get up and walk around or just feel a little anxious and antsy, but not Annie. She is a professional mom and she did perfect. I'm so thankful that Annie's birth started this morning and wrapped up around 3.30 because I still have three other litters to take care of. So I've gotten Annie some food and water when she's ready to eat and drink. And now I need to go do the afternoon routine with all the puppies. Luna's puppies are the youngest at six weeks and June and Pepper's puppies are seven, almost eight weeks old. They will go home this weekend, so I'm getting out their blankets and snuggle puppies to start playing with. I send one home with each of them to help transition to their forever home. Everyone is working on the stairs and doing really well with their potty training. I don't have any overlapping colors of collars now, so I can let everyone out at once and they love playing with each other. I'll see you all in the morning. Good morning. Annie has done so good with her puppies. I was telling JP how thankful I was that we did not have to go to the vet for puppy number six. They're all nursing and Annie has settled into being a mom really quickly. Today, I'll put their collars on and confirm everyone has gained weight since yesterday. When Annie came home, we had her scheduled for a haircut, but her family was so awesome and got her groomed right before she came. So I canceled our grooming appointment, but I would like to cut the hair shorter on her upper chest so these nipples are better exposed for nursing. It's going to be so fun watching these puppies grow. Big, huge, and exciting announcement. Our future puppy, Bella's great-granddaughter, is 30 days away from being born. That's right, Charlotte Rose is pregnant. Our second dog is just a few weeks away from being brought into our home. The hardest part now is figuring out what are we gonna name this little lady? So far, we've named the puppy Sophie, Blair, Winnie, Maple, Ember, and right now, she's Peggy. Each one lasts a few days and then it changes. JP is so past the point of looking at names. So if you have any good ideas, leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can get the girls on board.